Hi all, this is Chris here with Liberty VBA. In this video, we're going to be taking out a, we're actually going to be pulling a, all the files from a folder. Uh, this came from our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. We're going to dig in. This is the first set of uh, code here, which is a folder picker, which basically picks, picks a folder. Now we're going to pull all of the files out of that folder and then put them into a sheet. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to set our macro. We're actually going to put this on top of this, just so it's at the top. Call this sub all files. You can call it whatever you want. Remember, there can't be any spaces in that name. Um, otherwise, you're going to get some issues. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some objects. Now, I've done this before, so um, I'm going to be... Um, it's going to look like I'm doing this really fast, but... Um, and I actually am going to be doing it pretty fast. But we're going to declare some variables. So we want our FSO, we want our OB, OBJ folder as object. We're going to dim OBJ file. Because what folder, right? F O L D. Ha, that's funny. As object. Okay. So what we've done is I've just got three variables right there. I knew that I already had I knew that I already needed those. That's because I've already done this before. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set O OBJ FSO equal to create object. And this is going to be a scripting. file system object. Now, I believe I got this code originally from uh, Stack Overflow. Now a lot of times I will go there pull stuff out. So first thing we want to do, we're going to set that as a create object. Now what we need to do is we're going to create a loop. Well, first of all, we're going to pull all the files. We're going to create a loop and that loop is going to start in row 10. So I'm going to set a variable. We're going to do that rw equals 10 and that's just where, going to be where my loop is. First thing we need to do is we need to get the file path and that file is going to be equal to range that is C6. Uh, now it's important on this that we add that um, forward slash because if we were to look for a file and we just sent in um, my desktop basically it would say wait a sec that's not a folder that's actual that's not a folder so you got to put a whack on there um, so we're going to go set obj folder equals obj fso which is our scripting uh, we're going to do get folder fle and all that's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to find that folder. So now all we need to do is we need to loop through that folder. We're going to use a for loop. It's going to be for each obj file in obj folder dot files. So hopefully this makes sense. Basically, we're going to um, we're going through created a scripting object again. Got this from script Stack Overflow, and we're going to set that folder um, equal to this file path. And in that folder, there are files, and we're going to go through each file. So now it's pretty simple. We've got we're going to go cells. RW2, actually one three, is equal to obj file.name. We're going to go cells rw, comma, four. So that's going to be row, uh, whatever row I'm on, which happens to be 10 um, currently. Um, we'll walk through this so you can kind of see what happens here. And we're going to go obj file dot date created and then we're going to go cells rw comma 5 equals obj file dot parent folder dot path And then, 
and this should all make sense after we're done here. Um, equals. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get as much data as I can because what I want to do is I want to create a data path or data file folders so that I can actually go and open those workbooks. Um, now a couple things that I haven't done on this is I haven't limited those so what you may want to do is if you wanted to only find CSV files you would put um, you would add in an if statement where if the right of the file path is equal the right three is CSV then load it um, I'll show you that here in just a second okay so we have this hopefully this is doesn't gonna isn't gonna break may break then you get a see me debug some stuff which is always exciting so we're going to set that folder oh the one thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to add add one to um, my row and what what would have happened is I would have just been overwriting and overwriting overwriting so there's my file there's the date that that was created we're going to see if this gives me a path it does um, and I've got the same path there so that doesn't really matter these are actually one and the same um, let me get rid of that. And now what you'll notice is when I go through each one of these, it gives me these links, gives me all of my, it's going to give me everything. Now, like I said, um, some of these I may not want, right? So to limit that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, we, you would add some, you would delete these cells prior, um, which you would just do a current region and then delete, or you could just delete those cells. But if you did want only Excel files, you would go something like this. If the right of the obj file dot name, and again, I've done this before, so um, some of this on the right of three so we're gonna do four equals XLS XLS X that's going to give me all of my Excel files now those would not be macro enabled um, but again put an end if right here um, best practice on that is anytime you're doing an if if you do an end if right at the end typically it's how I do it so we're going to stop this, stop this code, and then I'm going to put a stop break on here. I'm just going to run it. I'm pretty sure I've got an XLS file. I do. Let's see, what is the name of that? It's going to show up. Yep, there we go. It's going to be all those, it's going to be those forward paths, etc. So that does only pull the XLS. Um, you could also do an OR on there as well. Um, but that's a good way to pull out all of the files from a full, from a folder. Um, that's kind of the next step in this process as far as grabbing data from a set of folders um, and pulling those pulling those out. So anyway, hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed.